Disruptive technologies are getting into business aviation. And I'm with a man now who can see a future that doesn't require our airports. Syed, tell me about your plans. Yeah, we have designed the, the Starling jet to be able to fly without the need to the airports, uh, vertical takeoff and landing, uh, so helicopter capability, but with the, with the range and speed of a business jet. So what called, sort of range and speed are you likely to get with this aircraft? Yeah, the, pl the design is 460 miles per hour, and at this speed, it goes up to 1,500 miles of range. So you'll be competing against traditional helicopters and business jets. Give me an idea of what kind of passengers you'd be able to carry with that. Yeah, so effectively we are merging helicopter with business jets together and four passengers is the design point for the aircraft with one pilot. The plan is to also move into the autonomous flight as well. Now I believe you're working um, with the Cranfield uh, Aerospace Cranfield University in the UK and when do you expect to actually see something for real rather than just a model? Yeah, well actually a 10% scaled prototype is under test at the moment and we're going to have 20% scaled prototype by end of September this year and next year by end of March we're going to have full scale prototype of electric plane demonstrating the whole technology. Now as a pilot I'm always interested in what's it going to be like at the front, how different is that going to be from traditional aircraft? Yeah, to start with this is going to be one pilot aircraft but the, the, the barrier is not the technology. In terms of technology, we are developing the, the full autonomous flight. So one person who is not pilot with 20 hours of training should be able to fly this aircraft. So once the certification and regulatory bodies are in place to help us certify the aircraft for, for autonomous flight, then we can do that as well. Now, one of the biggest challenges, of course, is certification. How do you see that going? Yeah, very good question. This, we are talking with FAA and ESA authorities for certifying this aircraft. We have a plan of accelerated process of certification where we have technology centers in Asia, in Canada and UK as the headquarter. So we're going to work around the clock 24-7 to accelerate the process of certification. And finally, when do you expect to be able to sell me one? Yeah, 2022 is the first delivery for e-Starlink for electric and 2024 is the delivery date for the, uh, for the Starlink jet, which is the longer, jet, longer uh, range one. So, business aviation, watch out, there's something new coming.